Alright guys, what's up? I've acquired quite a few exotic weapons in Destiny because I play it too much for my own good. And I figured I would do some sort of weapon review for each of the, the uh, exotics that I've acquired. Today, or well, for this video, I figured I would start out with Red Death. This is the gun that I've wanted since day one. I saw it in the trailers, I saw it in their concept art, and I really like the concept of this weapon. So let's take a look at it. Looking at this gun skill tree, it's got the unflinching ability where when you're shot at, your character doesn't flinch as much so it's easier to shoot at enemies. It's got the modifier to enhance the uh, aiming speed, staggering rounds to flinch opponents, uh, even gar other guardians, or the switch weapons faster which I don't ever use so I can't really comment much on that and ultimately it's exotic ability which is amazing and this is what's going to end up giving this gun a, high, a score that is going to be as high as it is. This weapon's exotic ability is upon each kill I acquire health regeneration is immediately triggered and increases speed, reload speed. This allows me to continuously fight enemy upon enemy it's better in the PvE activities, the co-op activities, than it is in the Crucible. It does come in handy in the Crucible, but not as well. I still have to let the health regenerate before I kind of get into another fight. It doesn't just instantly fill up the bar. It just, you'll see in the video here, it, it just triggers the regeneration, but n not actual health gain. It's a little different. To start out, this gun is powerful. It's capable of killing somebody in two bursts, but it's really unlikely. Every shot within the burst has to hit the head. And this, this is pretty rare of an occurrence to happen, but it's happened and it's really sweet when it does happen. Other than that, it's going to be about three to four bursts, depending on the situation. If the enemy is strafing a lot, there's a chance that it's going to take four bursts. And if your aim is just outstanding, if you're on point, it's going to take three bursts every kill. It's good. It's a great weapon at range. It's good at close range. It's got a great sight for up close and personal. It's good at hip fire too, which comes in handy. Every now and then I'll hip fire it, but I feel like the spread of the burst makes it significantly worse. And it doesn't exactly have large enough of a magazine to just kind of waste bursts. Unfortunately though, some of the bad things about this weapon is that the rate of fire is atrocious and it really takes some time to get used to. Right off the bat, you're probably not going to like this gun if you're an auto rifle user like I am. I heavily used assault rifles. That was actually the only gun I ever used up until now. This is the only primary that I ever chose to use. I don't really like scout rifles. I don't like pulse rifles. I don't like hand cannons. I am a up close and personal run and gun type player. I like to use assault rifles. This gun does not fit my playstyle, but I'm stubborn enough because if you know me personally, you know that I am obsessed with the color red, and this gun is all about the color red. And it's it's just this gun fits my character in real life perfectly. It's a hunter type weapon. Or it feels like some kind of bandit type gun. It would be silly if I didn't use it. So I forced myself to make this gun good. I, for I forced this gun to be usable in my playstyle. And I think I've succeeded on that. I rarely ever go negative in the Crucible with it. And it's a it's an it's the ultimate weapon in, in the co-op activities. Uh, ultimately, I'm gonna give this gun an 8 out of 10. Unfortunately, I can't give it anything higher because it does have a lot of flaws and it does have its terrible moments in the Crucible if things are just actually attacked. The gun is really not designed for the Crucible. All the maps are designed for shotguns, fusion rifles, and anything that can one-shot up close. This is a ranged weapon for ranged fire rates. And unfortunately, the Crucible is not about the primary weapon that it should be. Ultimately, I'm going to give this gun an 8 out of 10. Unfortunately, I can't give it anything higher 
because it does have a lot of flaws and it does have its terrible moments in the Crucible. If things are just action packed, the gun is really not designed for the Crucible. If all the maps are designed for shotguns, fusion rifles, and anything that can one shot up close. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this weapon. I've heard a little bit of negative feedback about it on Bungie.net. People have expressed pretty discontent about its horrible rate of fire. But let me know what you think. I will see you guys next time. And I will be reviewing the Hardlight Assault Rifle. I'm out. One